Hello everyone, you intellectual movie guru here, and welcome to another installment of Realm of Flicks, the segment where I go deep diving into public domain, and I watch stuff either I've never seen in my life, or something I've seen at least once in my life. And today, my little story. I remember when I was about eight years old, and I used to go to a lot of different yard sales and garage sales around my neighborhood, and... I remember one particular day that I went to a yard sale and I saw a big box of old VHS tapes that were mostly cartoons and I picked a random one out of that box that my mother said I could get and it literally was a Betty Boop VHS tape that had two episodes on it. One of the episodes I remember dramatically was uh, Grampy's house and then the second one was Betty Boop judge for a day now I don't know if Grampy's house is public domain but I know that Betty Boop judge for a day is public domain so we're gonna be watching this um, today I remember watching it as a kid it was interesting I want to see how it fares with me as an adult so so everyone, sit back, get your favorite drinking beverage, get your favorite snacking item, and we're going to deep dive into Betty Boop Judge for a Day. Let's go ahead and get started. Automatically the default um, background picture of Betty Boop, until um, Technicolor became a thing for her. I like the music. I love the um, the background. It's so realistic. I remember this song, yeah. Hello, Betty. Hello. Dang. Hello, Betty. Hello. And with all your might, it's good for you. Well. Dang, they're being rude. Jeez. Um, personal space. Oh, now, oh my lord. Oh, I hate smoking Oh, I hate smokers when they used to be on the bus. When I used to ride the bus and everything. Now they've kind of stopped with all that now. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. And the funny thing is, buses are still kind of like that to this day. That's... Oh my lord. Oh no. Oh! That can still happen to this day in this day and age. Make me judge for a day and I get a hold of all these pets and give them a lesson and teach them and that's all. 
Oh man. Oh my gosh, she's pretending to be a judge. I remember this song, yeah. Have a laugh, it's free today. Oh my lord. your back and shakes your spine. Yeah. He always parks his chewing gum. Oh man. Oh my gosh. He splashes mud on you and me. Mm. Who uses hot water till there is no more? Mm, yeah. Whose radio imitations make you sore. Jeez, man. Don't ever do that. Oh my god, hold on. Hold on. I wanna rewind that one real quick. That uh, that one was funny. That last parrot over there. Hold on. Hold on. The shadow. The shadow. <laughs> <laughs> I love that parrot. Oh my. That's a lot of people. Judge Betty. The People's Choice Betty Boop, the new judge. Oh man. Wow. The funny thing is, is the fact that I just remembered certain parts of this episode. Wow. And it just like came to me upon like mental reflex. Or would it be muscle reflex? I don't know. That was a really good episode. No, that was a really good cartoon. I enjoyed that. And the fact that I remember last seeing this as a kid and I remembered parts of it. It's pretty remarkable. 
But yeah, also, you know, comparing this cartoon to stuff that even goes on to this day, I'd have to say it's calmed down a little bit, but it still kind of happens in real life. Like, for example, smoking, of course, is not allowed on, the bu on like, the city bus anymore. I used to ride the city bus around. Um, people will still smell like smoke, but there's really no smoking on the bus. Um, people do still chew gum on the bus. People will even try and squeeze themselves into a seat that they, you know, don't have enough room to sit in. You know, that still happens. Um, sometimes people will get nosy and look over your shoulder if you're reading something or on your phone. I've seen that happen. Not as much. But there's a reason why I like to sit in the back where nobody will bother me and stuff like that. But uh, in terms of this cartoon, it was actually really, really nice. Um, I think I'll give it a... I'd say a 6.5 out of 10. That's not that bad. There's much better uh, Betty Boop cartoons that I remember. But there is worse. And in my opinion, the worst ones were the ones that had to do with political stuff. Which, yes, there are political cartoons that are public domain, but I will not be going into those categories. Because I don't like political stuff. So, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the cartoon. Does stuff like this happen to you in real life? Do you wish you were a judge and you could... Um, put the law into your own hands in terms of stuff like this. Have you rode the city bus before and stuff like this has happened to you? Let me know in the comments down below. But, um, as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'm your intellectual movie guru, and until the next movie review or Realm of Flicks segment, take care, everybody.